we all know, a model and the winner of Miss India International title of 2007. She is known to ace her fashion game with her edgy style and panache, and I think she's ultra stylish always. Please give it up for Esha Gupta! Members. Now you guys aren't scared of the stage, so you're gonna stand here for a little bit. And it's like, okay, you can like a center stage and just make me walk a little bit more. That's fine. <laughs> I want to thank you. They didn't just stop talking. Okay, now you can let me talk for just a little bit longer. Okay, and then and then you can do all the time. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for being here, first of all. And with a competition like this, I'm pretty sure it will get really, really tough. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? So Nari, I mean, I've worn your clothes, we've all worn your clothes, and you are so particular about your cuts and your fits, and I love, for the, yeah, I mean, it has to be immaculate. So first I want you to give one tip that you would give to any new come, upcoming designer uh, on how to make it so perfect, and secondly, what will you be looking for tonight? Um. First tip is for him I know, to understand tailoring is to understand the body. I think you should be able to see, feel, touch the body in your mind without touching. Close but no cigar. <laughs> and what I'm looking for is, you know, lever over the last uh, two, protege over the last two seasons, three seasons has been throwing up some really great talent. Uh, nice people in introducing good designers to the industry. I'm looking forward to seeing something like that, more fun, younger and hip this time. Uh, every season they're doing a different crop and I'm looking forward to seeing what I find this. Well, that's fantastic. I'm coming to you last. <laughs> Alright, so we know that the fashion game keeps changing and I love that you're trying to clean it up and make it pure. Can you explain to people what you mean by that? Um, so sustainability is a very only used word, and we all can agree on that. Um, but as far as fair fashion goes, what fashion revolution is about is basically saying we would make sure we're being fair to everybody along the supply chain of fashion. And I don't know if you know, there's about 75 million people that make our clothes, that make garments in the world, and 80% of those are women and girls. So we're sort of saying, let's just be fairer. We all love fashion. There's nothing wrong with parts of fashion. It's low fashion. But let's just be a little bit more considerate to everybody on the supply chain. So we start there and do we really need to be buying as much as we do and just, just look at the whole process and just be a little bit fair. That's, that's incredible. Okay, Isha. <laughs> Why do you always think I'm gonna ask you something controversial? She doesn't trust me? <laughs> Isha! And you're moving away. What is why do they think I have questions and I answer? I ask the right questions, you answer them wrong. No, I just, I mean, there's just no filter. <laughs> okay, well, let's try and be filter free anyway, it's cooler. All right, so now you've been a model and you've been an actress, and of course, you wear all designer clothes, right? What do you think a model or an actress would look for, not only on the runway, but as an actress on the red carpet? or in your daily life? What is the couple of things that you would look for? I think daily life it's all about comfort. Um, what really suits you, what you're comfortable in, where you're going, it really matters to that. But when it comes to the red carpet, I always like to take risks, which I have always, and I have a great team doing that. Uh, but I think one should always stick to what's their, um, you know, to accentuate their body and what suits them. Um, and you know, just work on um, you know their, their positives rather than their negatives. You know, because we all have something or the other in us which we're not happy with. It's, it's a very good like, Let's be honest; it's not a month practice. It's regularly girls. Um, you know, like I just think my nails right now are not. <laughs> I mean, I'm a narcissist, but. <laughs> No, but I just think like we should always stick to like our positives and make it work. Like I like things, I like to make a fashion statement always, but I like to keep it 
feminine every time because that's that's what I like. I like the more feminine rather than the more spiritual. So I can stick to that. A little bit of a tomboy for me to differ. But okay, I just I think everybody in the room wants to know how long does it take you to get ready? An hour and fifteen minutes. At least you're honest. Yeah, it's not so bad. And I take ten minutes. Well, I have minions around taking care, giving me coffee, someone's giving me. But yeah. That's the controversy right there, Isha Gupta has minions! Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, here is our jury, ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause. And they're going to take their seats right over there, guys. Wait.
I'm excited and I don't even know where to stand because I feel like I'm covering everyone else. So I'm just going to stand right in the center here. Okay. Uh, do you think you're ready? Yes? Okay, so here, this is the moment it, we've all been waiting for. <laughs> there won't be any excitement. <laughs> okay, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. I just want to wish all the designers the very, very best. You're putting so much hard work. Guys, what have you done to me? Can we just have Miss Perveen up here as well? Because I'll just make it up as I go. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to stand with you so you can sort me out here. Yeah? Okay. Alright, <clears throat> and the winner, the second runner-up winner is... Diryani Mishra! Yeah. Uh -huh. 